Hey, you guys, welcome to episode 38, I think, of Totally Tuned In. This is going to be a quick one. I'm sorry about that. And I'm not going to compromise on my message. I'm just going to really get very quickly to the point and give you guys some food for thought. Uh, this came as a result of a conversation yesterday that I had with somebody, but it's so common. And I bought into the idea before myself that compromise was necessary. And I know 100% now that it is not. I wrote a blog about this actually a few weeks back. I, I must dig it out. Um, but let me just share with you my view on it and why you do not have to compromise. Just even think about the word. I really don't like that word, compromise. Is there anything uplifting about it? Just check in. Compromise, compromise. <laughs> it's really like um, it, it lowers your vibe, right? For me, it does anyway. It's like um, it's something that... I'm not able to fully express and fully be in flow. Hey, Lillian, welcome and welcome to the other viewers that have joined too. Let me know how you, who you are. Yes, you don't. Life is too short. Exactly, Lillian. Life is too short. But here's my point. Let me get to the main point. You don't have to compromise if you have the courage not to. So here, here's how it works. Think about in your life where you feel like you're compromising, right? Whatever comes to you. Where do you feel in your life that there's a compromise there? The wonderful news is that you get to create a different experience. You get to create a different reality. So if that reality isn't working and you feel that there's too much compromise there, you don't have to stay in that situation. You get to create a new situation. And, you know, if there's thoughts coming in like, yeah, it's easy for her to say, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, stop it. Stop it now. Just give yourself a reality check because you have the power. You've got so much power inside you to create any kind of a reality that you want to. It just means, it just means, it means a lot, actually. I'm not saying that it's easy, but if you're committed and if you decide that you're worthy of a, a life of flow and a life that lights you up and life where you feel, yes, I created this, then you'll do it then you'll have the courage to do that, to create that experience. Lillian says, whenever you're compromising, it means you are in the wrong place with the wrong people. Absolutely, that's it. So check it, check it. It's not aligned. And life is all about alignment. If you want to live a life of flow, then there's no compromise necessary. Now, there is another thing you might... Um, be like, oh, well, of course there is if you're in a relationship. But if that relationship is based on love, then it's a joy to make adjustments. It doesn't come from eh, compromise, that really um, controlling kind of um, lack-based um, experience. It comes from joy overflowing with, yes, I really want to do that. I really want to um, give that to you out of love to another person as opposed to sacrifice. Sacrifice is just so um, dysfunctional. dysfunctional. Sacrifice is measuring and it's based on um, well, I'm going to do this for you, and I expect that, you know, you're going to owe me, you know, and, and then resentment comes in if you don't get what you wanted. And also noticing, welcome, let me know, I, I see we have quite a few viewers on, let me know who you are. Um, but also, and by the way, I'm sorry, I said at the beginning, this, actually, the reason this is a quick message today is, um, it's raining hard, and my daughter, so I'm going to pick her up from school, usually she will walk, but I don't want her to walk in that cold rain. The weather here has changed so much. But back to the topic of compromise and just noticing that if you are measuring in your relationships, this is a really good point. When I got this, it was a great aha moment for me that um, if it comes from a place of measuring that's lack based, like, hmm, I'll do this and then they'll do that. And I'll only give them this much because they only gave me that much. I mean, that's calculating and that's, and, and um, they have to compromise and I have to compromise. Whew, that's a very heavy and um, low vibe place to hang out, basically. So if you if you really value freedom, who doesn't? If you really value a life on your terms, a life that you get to create in a joy, a joyful experience that um, 
And I'm not just, you know, I'm really serious about this because you can, if you tune into what your gifts are, what your talents are, and what you want to create, what lights you up, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Even as I, before I went live, I was thinking, I was imagining because I do get people that don't like my message and get really annoyed with what I'm sharing. It's like, it's easy for you to say you're not sick or you're not dying. And then I thought, whoa, well, read the book Dying to Be Me by Anita Morjani. Anita Morjani, M-O-O-R-J-A-N-I. She was literally dying. Her family had been called um, because she, she had complete organ failure. Now she goes around the world talking about um, uh, that you create your own reality. And uh, she came back, basically. She had a near-death experience. It's a very interesting book. But really, it's possible for us to create anything that we want, no matter where we are at in our lives. And it's a matter of deciding and firmly committing to that decision and making it your top priority and locking it in and committing also. What I would do is, um, what I do do actually in my journal is I call it in every day. I start my day with deciding, you know, what do I want to create? What is it in my life that uh, that I really want? And I write it as if it already exists. So I would say that my relationships are all... Um, flow-based, there's no kind of heaviness, there's no conditions, that it's all in alignment. I, I believe that that's possible and I write that into my reality um, in order to make that my current reality. Um, that, that my business is thriving and that I'm financially free, that my health is thriving and obviously I take steps to make sure that it is, but I've decided, I decided to commit to that. It wasn't always like that for me. Believe me, I've done a lot of work to get to that um, place. So I can say, hand on heart, that it's possible because I have created and I'm continuing to create it. And um, as a result of lots of inner work, lots of growth work, hiring lots of coaches and doing the work myself and courage, that's the big one as well. Having the courage to um, claim it to claim that life and it does take courage it takes um there's going to be resistance from other people there's going to be judgment there's going to be stepping outside your comfort zone and um the great news is that i have and probably tomorrow it will go live what is a fly around me um there's going to be oh pat hey pat says loving this need doing the work with courage it's all about courage pat um so i'm actually going to give a five-day live training starting next monday probably if my support team can help me get it up and running to, to let everyone know, because I really want a lot of people coming on board this because bottom line, it's all about having the courage to claim it. You know, you want it. You know, you want a life of alignment where there's not compromise. <laughs> so it's up to you whether, um, whether you have the guts to claim it or not. So I hope that gives you food for thought. Think about it. Where in your work life, where in your personal life, where in your relationships, where financially, where in your health, where are you compromising and just tolerating something that doesn't quite feel aligned or doesn't feel aligned at all, actually? And ask yourself, why am I tolerating this? Because it changes when you change. When you decide to no longer tolerate it and you do what it takes in order to change that situation, that's when your reality will change. Your external reality is based on your internal thoughts. So change your internal internal thoughts, your internal beliefs, and your external reality will change. That's a fact. So it all starts inside with what you're tolerating. And yeah, you don't have to tolerate it anymore. You don't have to compromise. It's um, it's a friendly universe if we choose to see it that way. So thanks everyone for listening. Please share this if you found it useful. Let me know your thoughts on compromise and if you've got any questions about it. And um, the sun's come out. It stopped raining now. My daughter can actually walk home from school. So yeah. I um, let me on that note then let me see if I have any other uh, I made some notes on this this morning hi hello the only exception is German rail <laughs> no that's a good point hi because you don't have to go on German rail you can choose other means of transport right that's the reality you can create that you can create that experience in your life you know how and here's oh brilliant points thanks for making that comment hi because it reminds me don't get too caught up in the how. If there's something that you really want in your life and you believe you're worthy and deserving of it, obviously you take aligned action. You've got to take action in that direction. 
but hold the vision still and be open to the universe bringing it to you in another way. I can just see your personal driver now, Heike, <laughs> coming to pick you up. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, it's, it's, faith plays a massive role in this, which I'll be talking about next week as well. In, in, when you've got the courage to make the changes that you need to make, um, you step up and you show the universe that you're serious with the aligned action that you're taking, be open to miracles. Be very open to miracles because um, you, you get, you'll be held with faith. Do it from love. Yeah, I said that already. Do it from love. The, you know, that, you know, the conversation I had yesterday with friends when I was saying, well, I said, I don't agree that you need to compromise anywhere in your life. I said, I do believe that you maybe do things that you wouldn't have intended to do for, for somebody else from a place of love. And that's a very different kind of compromise. Uh, believe that you can and you will create it. Believe that you can and claim it whatever it is that you want in your life, and um, and you will. And yeah, just noticing that um, compromise comes from a low vibe place, and where do you choose to hang out, in a high vibe or a low vibe? So whatever's not working, choose to change it so that you can consistently be in high vibe and uh, get to really enjoy this world that you uh, choose to be born into. Okay, guys, that's all for now that I can think of. Um, thanks for tuning in. Bye.